we are playing Russian roulette with people's health right now. For those needing emergency medical care in Clearwater, the closest hospital is in Kamloops, over an hour away. The mayor of Clearwater says he is absolutely terrified that someone could die as a result of not being able to access an emergency room. It's already happened in Ashcroft uh, with a, with a death there. Blackwell says there are enough staff to fill the open spots, but many are leaving due to toxic work environments and fatigue from being overworked. It's about making them feel welcome um, and part of our communities. And it's about getting rid of toxic workplace environments and situations in our hospitals to make sure that the people that are there right now are happy and want to stay. Yellowhead Community Services Society in Clearwater provides support services for families and seniors in the region. The society says there is an overwhelming sense of anxiety in the community right now. From parents with small children or babies that um, you know may need to seek emergency uh, medical attention to seniors and those um, you know with compromised immune systems or other health issues. The ER closures are not just affecting Clearwater, but other rural communities in B.C. But Clearwater has had the most, with 33 closures to date. The B.C. Rural Health Network says staff shortages are universal across the province, even in urban centres, but affects those in rural regions the most. When you lose that service, you put people's lives in jeopardy, and uh, you especially put vulnerable people's lives in jeopardy who don't have the money for transportation or Adam says more support is needed to ensure rural communities like Clearwater don't get to that point. The Clearwater Overnight ER will reopen on Sunday at 6 p.m. after being closed for five days. Yasmin Gandam, CBC News, Vancouver.